Hello. Good morning. Nice. Good morning. We start our mornings uh, as early as possible. As early as possible. <laughs> With I a good see. cup of coffee. With a good cup of coffee. <laughs> right. So you are a coffee drinker. You need coffee in the morning. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. uh, and very good coffee. It's my addiction. It's my addiction. <laughs> if you had a choice, where would you want to have your breakfast? Where would you want to have your coffee? Well, after a hectic week, of course, the for me, the best mornings are when I can spend the uh, Whole, whole morning reading the newspaper or just uh, um, you know surfing with a good cup of coffee and something to eat along. Sometimes, ano, masarap din ang uh, Filipino breakfast, di ba? Of course, at rice, saka, <laughs> itlog na maalat, nagawa namin. <laughs> that I was very interested in. Yes. You do raise ducks and we do. goose, geese? Uh, in our farm, yes. Uh -huh. And uh, so we have lots of eggs, that's why uh, we make salted eggs and we eat it ourselves. You have here with you now. Can we go and check it out? I have goslings now. These are little geese. As you can see, they're eating rice, but uh, they prefer rice over corn. <laughs> so in your farm, you have goose, you have ducks, you have deer. Yes, cows, horses. Cows and horses. Uh -huh. Well, the cow, you, you also get They graze. Milk. They're all, uh, uh, parang, uh, they just graze around. But not for <laughs> eating. Eventually, eventually, but you yeah. know, you get a uh, you get attached to them. Yeah, so I would don't think so. Like, uh, you wouldn't want to losing them. <laughs> you wouldn't want to make yes. them roast beef. No, <laughs> not yet. Anyway, but, but the but the goose and goose, the ducks. the ducks. Yes, we harvest. We, we eat ducks every okay. now and then. We give them for Christmas gifts yeah. to our friends who are all good cooks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so every weekend we try to go to the farm, but. Uh, you know, it's been very busy lately. Do you intend to go commercial, offering it Eventually, to the Eventually, when we are done with the peace uh, process. Oh, yeah. When I retire from the University of the Philippines. So tell me about this painting. <laughs> oh, it was made by a very young artist by the name of Jonathan Hoven mm -hmm. from the UP Fine Arts. So he did this. He took a picture of our three grandchildren playing yes. the hula hoop the hula, from yes. uh, a oh. QP, from a top. Uh, mm -hmm. A pipe. Nice. What are their names of uh, your grandchildren? Kaylee, Keiko, and uh, Katrina. Kaylee, Keiko. They're all K's because my son is Carl and his wife is Kay. What yes. do they call you? They call me Nanai, which is Nanai. how my son calls me. How do they see you, do you think, as, as Nanai? Uh, I, I guess I'm a friend to them and also somebody that uh, helps them around. We're just casual, cool uh, with each other. Your expertise is in uh, peace and conflict uh, studies. Mm -hmm. How is it like when you need to negotiate with a kid? Yes, it uh, can <laughs> uh, be a little difficult because you know you you do need uh, uh, a lot of convincing as well. Yeah. It takes uh, different techniques, different <laughs> just techniques. like in any negotiation. Oh, so there's really no <laughs> tried and tested technique to, for example, achieve yeah. peace and harmony in a situation. I think it uh, depends on so many factors. In the beginning, when you were appointed as, uh, as the head of the peace panel, even President Aquino had concerns. Maybe because uh, in political life, in public life, usually women are in the background. And that's true for a lot of cultures. For most parts, uh, men have dominated the public sphere. And to that extent, there was some kind of hesitation on the part of our negotiating partner to have to, uh, you know, <laughs> Square it <Yeah>. out <laughs> with a woman. Yes. Uh -huh. What do you think can a woman bring in the negotiating table? Mm, first of all, uh, perspective. A different kind of perspective. There are some uh, areas of life that uh, perhaps men are not keenly attuned to. Is there a difference between how a woman negotiates and how a man negotiates? It will depend on the situation, except of course, uh, uh, if you're a woman you, and you are conscious of the fact that uh, there's that kind of uh, uh, biases against women, then you sort of veer away from the stereotype of a woman being emotional, easy to cry, and so on. So Every time we interview you, you somehow have this um, stillness within you. How do you remain patient? Well, actually, I would say that every, everyone in our panel mm -hmm. has that quality. More is, was expected of us in keeping that kind of, uh, of uh, fairness and also a good disposition so as not to 
not to uh, derail the process or to scuttle it altogether. How would you define success to your three grandchildren? You know, my daughter, uh, the granddaughter, the first mm -hmm. one actually did an interview on that first school. Mm -hmm. uh, myself and my husband, Anthony, and I think mm -hmm. we both said it's work, hard work, mm -hmm. discipline, and also concern for others. And of course, a lot of learning, uh, seeking knowledge, uh, seeking excellence. Mm -hmm. Success is not just about power and money. It is also about a woman squaring it out in a world perceived as dominated by men and being a peacemaker in and outside the home. That's everyday success.